Hey YouTube, what's going on? Zero Magnum X. We have a new video for you. Uh, let me adjust my camera real quick. Sorry about that. I'm very tired. I just got back from a Yu-Gi-Oh! Regional. Didn't do so hot. I took uh, Danger Dark World and went a whopping 3 and 4 and dropped. Don't play that deck. It's bad. Uh, but yeah, we have basically the equivalent of a booster box for the Bakugan TCG. I also got some of the figures and stuff. Um, which I will be showing off my, uh, and I plan on doing like, I have another basically box or 24 packs coming too. And I think I'm just going to open them all in this video for you guys. So I'm going to slide this all out of the way. Adjust a little bit. They are very bulky compared to like regular blisters, so bear with me. I don't really want to edit, I just want to upload this straight um, because of being so tired, so please bear with me. Alright, and we're just going to get to opening them. Um, this game is cool too, like you roll Bakugan out, uh, if you haven't heard of it or seen it, and then the cards enhance the Bakugan, they're kind of like your like your leaders or vanguards or whatever in this game but they're physical characters with uh, character cards alright let's do that and we have um, Chaos Ascendancy uh, the only thing is to the grade on the cards is a little thin so be careful Smoke Armor uh, 3 energy plus 500 B Cycle in Thoughts, draw two cards, and return this card to the bottom of your deck. In this game, your deck is your life total. Uh, but you don't die from decking out if you would draw a card. It's your opponent has to damage you through, and the damage is uh, rating is equal to how many cards you uh, mill from the deck. This is going to be a longer video, fair warning. Uh... Razor Wings, it's a flip card for one energy put in your hand. Uh, flip cards are when you're taking damage, they flip over, kind of like damage triggers in Vanguard. Uh, and then you pay an energy cost to activate them. Uh, a lot of them are just stop damage, but they have different effects. Like this card goes to your hand, so you can use it as a resource for energy. Because you play with energy in this game and you put them face down. Uh, like for example, Sea Serenity here is a flip card for one energy. And it stops... Uh, Chaos or Ventus, which there's six factions in the game, and those are factions. So, like, this is the darkest faction. This was ha Chaos, Aquas, or Aquarius, something like that. And then uh, Ventus is green, Pyrus is red. I think that's all of them. And then Aurelius, which is a weird one um, for the game, it's only in Evos, is. Uh, like golden it was supposed to originally be earth but now vent is this kind of nature instead of wind uh so like see here for example is plus two damage on ebb and then you have flow um which if you play another card this turn uh gain plus five damage instead so that's how many cards you mill from your opponent for damage uh this is our first rare it is uh, Colonel Armstrong Trip. When one of your Bakugan attacks, draw a card. Double-edged sword gives you card advantage, gets you closer to your opponent killing you. Um, this is an example of a Ventus card, uh, which is just a regular air shell shield. Minus three damage for each uh, Ventus Bakugan on your team. Uh, the minus three damage can be applied to your opponent, so they're dealing you less damage. Oh, very nice. We got... Uh, uh, Bakugan Elite, which is the highest rate. He actually wanted this. This is Magnus. It's 8 energy, which is a lot, but if you play Ramp, you can get it. Um, whenever you play this card, a Bakugan gets plus 5,000 battle power. Nothing can really outclass that. And then Victor, so if you win, you may discard a card to give a Bakugan uh, damage equal to the discarded card's energy cost. Amazing. So, uh, Bakugan Elites are like the equivalent to Seeker Rares and so on in this game. Uh, they're flooded right now in the first set, which is why I'm picking them up. And then Fixation, which is, they have reverse foils. You can see the hex foiling. 
I know I'm spending a lot of time on this first pack. I'll go a little bit faster in the additional packs. But I wanted you guys to see some of the uh, cards. Uh, and it says, Retract a Bakugan that did not open this turn. Uh, I think that might mean, like, if you pull your, your Bakugan back, maybe, like, you re-roll it. I'm not sure. I have to get rollings on that. But there's the uh, Hex. And then we'll just move on to the next one. I'm going to try to get some games of this up eventually. Uh, but it's just starting, so bear with me. And that's what the packs look without, like, without the blister. And there are these nice pull tabs you can use. Alright, and then we're going over some of these again. So, Tidal Wave, 4 energy plus 7 damage. Cease Chaos, which is 0 energy, but it specifically stops damage from a Chaos uh, Bakugan. Well, it strike 4 energy, minus 4 damage to something, and energize it uncharged. So, energize is like, turn it into mana. It goes face down and then it's energy. Or mana, for those who play magic and so on. Uh, counter aggression, like... Stop, uh, I believe it's a Chaos or uh, Pyrus Tides is another one with the flow ability. It gives a plus 400B or 200B normally. Oop. We are kind of spoiling stuff without meaning to. Then we have uh, Triple Blast Cannon, which if you play Magic, this is a counter spell, which is cool. Um, it negates an action card. Uh, Might of Cyndius, plus one damage. Uh, this turn the victor is decided by highest damage instead of battle power, which is cool. So if you can pop up something for a lot of damage, you can be considered the winner in the contest, uh, which is nice. That's one of the rares. Uh, Whirlpool, another rare, uh, plus three damage flow. If you play another card this turn, plus three. Frost, Frost is an ability I don't remember what does offhand. I did read it, but... Okay, and then uh, Cindy Stan, this is a super rare. Shuffle any number of cards from your hand into your deck and get plus one damage for each card shuffled. And then Shadow Trap is our uh, Hex Full. It's actually a rare. So we'll do, since they're higher rarity, we'll do it this way. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, like I said, I'll be showing figures and other things off. And explaining the game a little bit. There are resources, so please check out the other channels that are promoting this game right now. Uh, they will also help. There are other already gameplay videos up, uh, not just my own, to help you get an idea of how the game is played. Like, the neat thing about this is every card in this game is instant speed, and uh, you take your turns together. So I should have mentioned that. Like, Repel Pyrus, it's just meant just that stops Pyrus like a fire attack. Uh, repel Ventus, Ventus card that stops a Ventus attack. A flip card, Ventus power. Um, stop a non... Yeah, Ventus... and uh, So, flip card, it stops all damage from a non-Ventus source, and then you draw a card. Wither, uh, give something minus three attack. Lava Flow is just plus one energy. So you play this for free and you generate an energy, which is cool. Uh, it just, it's not like permanent, it's just, it floats. Um, Beaming Blaster. Domination if you're holding the most Baku cores, uh, plus 12 damage instead. So pretty, pretty, pretty good if used right. Uh, Wayne, destroy an Evo that was not played this turn. Evos are cards that go over top of your base character cards. Cocoon Shield, a Bakugan's uh, battle power becomes 1,000. Oh, nice. Stomp and Quake. Plus 10 damage for 7 energy. Turbo, if you have the most, ener most energy in play, you can draw 3 cards. So, again, that double-edged sword uh, to draw cards. And then, uh, Max is Diamond Maxator Ultra. This is an Evo. It's oh, it's actually an awesome rare Evo foil. Neat. Um, which is like an ultra rare. Uh, so it's 15. You can't see it too well, but there we go. 1500 B power, 
and then uh, 15 damage, but it's also 10 energy to play it. So kind of a steep cost. But if you get there in Ventus, it can it can hit really hard. Like eight and ten's quite a bit of uh, difference in this game. I know it seems weird, but it's true. All right, so uh, from here on out, I think I'm just going to go over the rares to speed things up because we're at ten minutes. So I'll still go through these so you guys can see some of the cards. Okay. Yep. Okay, and this is where the rares start. Uh, Hyper Hydrois, Hy Hydorus, I don't know, however you say it. Um, so regular rare and evolution. When you put an action card on this, it gets plus 200B. So you can buff it 3 for 510 damage. It's actually a really good Evo. Uh, Hyper Nilius, another Evo. This is a regular rare, turbo if you have the most energy. Gain plus 2 damage and plus 200B power. Hyper Hydrius Ultra. Uh, Victor, you may play a uh, water energy card with uh, cost four or less for free. So it's cool. Kind of lets you have free plays. Um, that's just that's an awesome rare as well. And then Serpentis Diamond Evo is our foil reverse, and it's a rare. Yeah, sorry that this video is going to be longer, um, but I wanted to bring you guys something neat and different, and hopefully you'll like it. Alright, so just Lava Boost, Impact Laser, Magma Boost, Meltdown, Surge of Light, Thunder Sword. Solitude. Okay, Solitude's a rare. Uh, plus 1,000 Bakugan if you only have one open Bakugan. <laughs> um, Shadow Trap. Mine is uh, 3 damage and then Sacrifice. You may discard a card for minus 3 damage to all enemy Bakugan. So you can stop a team in text. But 5 energies is kind of expensive. Dan Kuzo. This is the most sought after card in the game. Sure. Why not? We'll get Dan. Uh... This is, yeah, another Bakugan Elite. Um, whenever you open a Bakugan, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is not a flip card, you may play it for free. Card is nuts. And then uh, we have a regular rare uh, Wing Cutter, which is 6 energy, 600 plus B. If your Bakugan... Holds the most Baka cars, you return this to your hand. So you can kind of keep reusing it. But yeah, uh, we pulled uh, Dan Cuso. Wow, that's some nutty luck. Might be using that because I'm doing uh, triple trucks. So for those of you who play and understand, um, and it's going to be Darkest, Ventus, and Pyrus. I'll probably have a deck profile once I get it together later on. Okay, got a Wild Strike, Counter Aggression, Counter Haas, uh, Prismatic Shield, Strorantha Maxator, uh, Shade Blade, weird name. Okay, and then, so now here's our rares. Here's Hypertrox. For one energy, 400 uh, B plus seven damage. Although I'm not using the Aquas Hypertrox, but here he is. <laughs> okay, this one I am using. I'm glad I got him. This is the Pyrus Hypertrox. Um, so it's two energy, 600 B, and two damage. Victor plus two energy. So when your Hypertrox, if you evolve and your Trox wins a battle. Um, you get plus two energy, which is really sweet. Uh, allows you to extend plays. Very happy about getting that. And we have a super rare, Fierce Termination. Uh, stop non Pyrus Fury. If you know no cards in your hand, this card is free. Probably something I'll be using actually. Put that here. And Fire Boost is our reverse foil. It's just a, uh, a common, it looks like. All right.
right, next set of cards. If my camera will focus, please focus. Please. Alright, well, it's not a uh, beaming blaster. Think again. Blinding glam. Counter outsiders. Bone defense. Counter pyrus. Olivia Styles. So this is a rare uh, non Ventus Bakugan get minus 300B. Not terrible. Um, weakens everybody else. Hey, I want it, that too. Um, Diamond Trox. Victor, you may energize the top card of your deck uncharged. So get it tapped if it wins. So ramps you. Toshi. When you play this, search your deck for an action card. Reveal it costs 9 energy for the record. Um, reveal it, then put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, copy the first action card you play each turn. So if you can get there, it's kind of cool. Um, and that is another Bakugan Elite. Yes, yes it is. Very cool. And then Stoic Shot is our Reverse Foil. I think we're going to just pull from this side to kind of keep the piles even. Water boost, hydro, oops, sorry, hydro blast, ice barrier, ice elation, icicle, heroic strength. Okay, and I think this is where we're getting the rares. Yes, the storm generator, which is really good. Uh, plus or under B, you may discard a card and return to your hand uh, for recursion if you need some B power buffs. Uh, Umbral Slash, plus 100B for each flip card in your discard pile. Not terrible. Trox Reflex, okay. So we got a Super Earth, 4 energy. Uh, stop a non-Ventus Bakugan. If you have the most energy cards in play, this is free. So this is probably the main um, flip card that I want to run in my deck. Because I'm going to be ramping, and then this will just be free when I flip cards and be like, aha, no, <laughs> no damage. Very nice. And oh, nice, a reverse foil uh, umbrial slash. Or umbrel. Sorry, my throat's a little scratchy. I've had a heck of a weekend at the regional. Very tired, no sleep. You know, that kind of thing. Okay, so uh, we have a block pyrus which has something on it that's disheartening. Uh, unrivaled jump, block ventus, halt Haus. prismatic bolt, plus hundred or er, plus four three hundred beam plus six damage. That's actually not bad. Uh, prismatic shield plus two hundred B. Yeah, and then our rares are Wing Cutter, uh, Masteo Kazami. Yeah. Uh, so this is a hero card. This is actually this is a rare. So if you have played two more cards this turn, your next attack is certain as plus two damage. That's not bad because one energy. Oh, uh, okay, very nice. Titan Dragonoid. Uh, this is another Bakugan Elite. Okay, very cool. So it's an Evo for uh, Dragonoid, plus 1000B, Evo, double strike, 6 damage, if you control Dan Kuzo, plus 2000B. So this is a combo in the game, uh, Pegatrix, real quick, Diamond Pegatrix is our rare, 1200B, Evo, 6 energy, and it costs, uh, or 6 damage, 6 energy to equip. So we actually pulled the combo, which is really neat. Uh, with Dan Kuzo and this, you can get this guy to plus 3,000 B and some other ridiculous things. Uh, when you open a box, you go on real top card or deck. If it's not a flip card, you may play for free. So I'm wondering if it's like you can evolve into this and just like get him out of nowhere. But very nice. Um, it's actually really cool that I pulled both. Oh, this is probably going to a friend of mine.
I'm probably keeping Dan because I like playing, I like free cards. But the uh, Titan Dragonoid is not something I'm going to keep. I'm not going to be using Dragonoid, so that stuff will be going to somebody. Uh, Alright, Luminous Armor, Ice Wall, uh, Pandox Punch, Inspire, Shine, Stoic Shot, okay, and our rares, Titan Dragonoid Aquas, so that's a rare, hey, another Trox, very nice, so I think we're going to set this up, are you serious, two Dan Kuzos, wow, wow, okay, wow, I will take that. And then Fire Vortex, 6 energy, uh, 6 damage. If you have no cards in your hand, 12 damage instead. But 2, two Dan Kuzos is insane. I think they stack 2, by the way. So, like, if you open a Baku Gun, you get to play, like, you get to just repeat what it does. I think we're off to a really good start for this game. Alright, we have Venom Blast, which is minus 4 damage. Sea Starkus. Blinding Glam. Bone Defense. Cycling Light. Seas Chaos. Okay, and then we have uh, Hyper Serpentine Ultra. So, plus 3 Frost. And then 8 damage and 500B with 5 energy. Uh, uh, repeat of Hyper Nilios. And a Diamond Maxitar Ultra, which is an awesome rare. And a Titan Fanzor, which is a rare Evo. So not bad. Yeah, like they said, they might have flooded the market on um, some of the higher rarity cards for this first set. So I jumped on this. Gee, sorry, that pack was fighting me. Alright. Wild Strike. Counter Aggression. Stone Skin. That one's actually decently good. Uh, counter Chaos. Chaos. I'm probably going to say Chaos like everyone else. Even though it's supposed to be pronounced like Halo. Hey, Chaos. But everyone calls it Chaos like Chaos. So, Strength of Maxitar. Uh, Taint of Touch. Okay, we have a Hyper Fanzor. Uh, green, whenever this opens, so, like, it won't open both the Fanzor opens. Uh, an opposing Bakken Gun gets minus three damage. Hyper Manitoid Ultra, two energy, eight B power, Evo, four damage. And then uh, Titan Hydrius Ultra. So, Victor, you get to destroy an enemy energy card, six energy, seven B power, and seven damage. And then Spark is our reverse foil. Yeah, in the next video, I'm probably going to cut off the, the uh, cardboard for the second box that I have coming. Uh, just so it'll be much quicker. Okay, Razor Wings, Sea Serenity, Sea Ventus, Greater Water Boost. At zero energy and at one B, so that's how you activate your flows easier. Hydro Blast, uh, Punish. Then we have a Titan Fanzor, which is an Evo. Uh, if you have a Shield Cork, it's plus eight damage, thirteen hundred power. Um, this is the Aurelius cards I was talking about. They only have Evos, but they are overpowered in stats. Because they only have evolutions. They have nothing else to offer. Whoa! Okay, cards fell. Okay, Implosion, destroy an enemy energy card. And if you have no cards in your hand, destroy two instead. And then another Toshi. And, uh... Hyper, Hydrocious, whatever, Ultra. So, another rare Evo. Reverse foil. Very cool. <laughs> 
All right, fixation, think again. Uh, halt unknown. Chaos uh, Ascendancy. Fire Boost. Fire Vortex. And then we get to the rares. Yeah, Hyper Hydrosis. Uh, it's an Evo 3 Energy 400B. 9 damage, which is a lot of damage for a 3 energy card. And then if it's on a fist, a green fist core, you have that at 600 B power. Oop. And then Diamond Ultra Gortheon, just a big guy, 6 energy, 1300, and 6 damage. And then we have Hyper Gorgonoid Ultra, which is one of the big Evos, but he's 3 energy, uh, 900 B, 5 damage, and then if you're on a flame, if it's plus 700 B, that's super rare. And then our foil is Hyper Gargonoid Ultra. Uh, 3 energy, if you have 3 or more heroes in play, it's plus 500 B and 5 damage. It's actually sick. I mean, that might make me want to play a Chaos deck with heroes. That's an awesome rare. Huh. That may me, make me like Chaos a little bit. We'll see what direction we go whenever all our stuff comes in. Alright. So I am getting, like like I said, I'm getting the figures. I have two five-packs coming and a Trox. Um, green Trox. That I overpaid for, but at least it's coming in. Impact Laser... Deafening Roar. One's actually not bad. 3 energy for minus 600. Be an opposing card if you want to try and win in battles. Laser Claw, uh, plus 10 damage, 6 energy. Oak and Shield, 4 energy, minus 300. B, but Turbo, which if you have the most energy, minus 900. B. Surge of Light. Paralyzed Potion. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, reflection rays, one plus one frost for each chaos Bakugan on your team. Uh, one energy. Ooh, cocoon shield. Uh, Bakugan's battle power becomes one thousand. Cindy's stand shuffle any number of cards. I read this earlier uh, from your hand into your deck, and then plus one damage for each card shuffled. And then another hyper hydrous ultra. Which we had before. And there's a, been a lot of good cards. And a lot of the uh, the quote unquote boxes I've seen. Uh, they didn't get this many like Bakugan elites and stuff. It averaged between like 3 and 4. We got more than that. Alright. Uh, Terrify. Thought Decay. Cease Darkus. Cease Chaos. Unrival Jump, Prismatic Bolts, and then rare is yeah Hyper Dragonoid. So one energy Pyrus, uh, 400 B, six damage Evo if it's on a fist, uh, plus 300 B and plus three damage. That's bad. Another Titan Dragonoid, another Magnus. All right, I'm happy. I will take that, and then. A foil storm generator, which if you can see that, the foiling is beautiful. Alright, how many packs do we have left? One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more to go. Alright, cool deal. Man, I am... I am thrilled as can be with what we pulled so far. I just need a few more of the rare trucks. Um, then I'd like to get the vintage trucks that ramps you for two as well. So I'm trying to build a deck that builds us for energy. Uh, okay, there went my pack. And then be able to play things like Magnus. Like I'm trying my best to play as many free or close to free cards as I can. Meltdown, Meteoric Lance, 
we'll lock outsiders. Sorry, I was kind of messed up. Block Pyrus, Molten Helix, we'll lock Ventus. Another Hyper Hydros. Hot Potato. Okay, this is the first one. Remove an enemy Bakugan's Bakucore and negate its effects. You return the Bakucon on the or Bakucore onto the field face down. That's actually a funny name. Like hot oh, potato, it's too hot. Ah. Ooh, what's this? Uh, Pack the Darkness for four energy. Sacrifice. You may discard a card to play this for free. Oh yes, that's going in our deck. Wow, that is really good. I'm more of those. Light as a feather. Uh, put this in your hand and draw a card. Okay. So if you pay for the flip card, that's our foil. Alright, we have Cease Outsiders, which we'll probably be using that in our deck because everything besides Darkest can't deal damage. Cease Serenity. Seize Ventus, Venom Blast, one of the better cards. I think I'm going to be using these in my deck. Uh, Punish, Halt, Aquas, and then our rares. We have uh, Hyper Hydrus Ultra. Victor, shuffle a card from your discard pile into your deck. So it heals you. It's one of the only Evos right now that heals you. And it's only two energy, which is really awesome. This and the other guy make me interested in chaos a little bit. Uh, Hyper Pegatrix. So four energy plus 900 B Evo, three damage. And it on a shield plus 400 B and eight damage. Oh, um, Curran. I haven't seen this. When you play a flip card, you may draw a card. I don't think I'm too interested in that. But it's neat to get it. Oh, hello. Bakugan Elite Foil. Winton Styles, I needed this guy so bad. Uh, when you open a Bakugan, you may energize the top card of your deck. If you have 15 or more energy cards and play your Bakugan, have plus 1500 battle power. Amazing. That is beautiful. Need these guys like crazy too. I plan on playing like a lot of heroes and evos in my deck. And then, like, action cards to kind of stall for damage and then just build, 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 and then win. Kind of work on an, a huge army as much as I can. i got to figure out ratios and everything. But, yeah, Winton is awesome. Tidal Wave, Cease Darkest, Cease Chaos, Wild Strike, Counter Aggression, Counter Chaos. All right, and our rares are Garganoid's Gaze, Destroy Hero with 4 energy cost or less. So this is how you balance heroes, like this. This shiny card is also defeated by this rare for 2 energy darkest. Um, Hyper Dragonoid uh, Aurelius, I think is the name. So it's, like I said, 1 energy, 600, 8 damage. Kind of an early push. Okay, I'll take that. Another Winston Styles. Hello. That is amazing. And then uh, Cycling Light. I'm going to put Cycling Light on the bottom so they can just chill out side by side for a little bit. I'm exceedingly happy with the way these are going. But yeah, Bakugan Elites are supposed to be the highest rarity in the game. So as you can tell, it's quite flooded. But I'm happy because it will give me a boost to start the game with. Dream Illusion. Yeah. Okay. We have another Solitude. Whirlpool. Max, which is 9 energy. Opposing Bogging. You get minus 3 damage if you take damage. Destroy this. That seems bad. Just set it aside there. And then Repel Destruction. Okay. I'm still going to keep these guys side by side, and then we'll just put him under two. I think he's like an awesome rare, but he's not not too impressive. If he were like maybe three energy, he'd be really cool. But that's too much of a drawback for a nine energy card. Like just knowing how card games work.
All right. So we have counter aggression, counter chaos, strength of Maxator, Toxify, Cloak and Shadow, which this card's actually pretty good. Plus three damage and basically uh, hexproof for those who play Magic. Uh, Curse of Darkest, also a great card that I will be playing because this is this is how I want to win most of my uh, battles is giving things minus ten damage. Discard and card, and then like get nothing benefit from that discarded card. Pyrus Ritual, uh, plus one energy for each Baka core that your Baka gun have. I don't know if I'm going to use this, but it's neat. Corrupting Mist, um, plus 100 B for each one damage your Baka gun has. Eh. And then another uh, Cindyus Stand, which we read. I think that that makes three, which is cool. And then uh, Dream Illusion for our foil. And again, still going to stick with the double Wintons on top. I'm really digging Ventus. And I like I like Winton as a character in Trox. Um, I like the jokesters versus uh, serious attitude that the two have and other things. So, Plus he eventually, and I'm waiting for the series to catch up, gets a freaking turtle walking on and for those of you out there who don't know, I really like turtles. So yay! I can't wait for that card to come, or that Bakugan and cards to come out. Liquid Strike. Think again. Paralyzing Potion. Pyrus Strike. Uh, Sifting Ashes. That's draw two cards and discard two cards. You're basically painting yourself for two damage in this game. Uh, Fury Rage. Turn to B if you have no cards in your hand. Plus eight damage. Okay, Bill Cuso. When an opponent's card play, when an opponent plays a flip card, you may draw a card. Hyperhydrosis. I think we pulled this already, and I showed it off for the nine damage. Oh, okay. Shun Kazami. Uh, Evos you cost, or Evos cost you one less energy in play. Very good for cost reduction for evolutions. Um, and then a prismatic shield foil. So we'll still go with these, and we're down to our last two packs been a really fun box opening i hope everybody's enjoyed the ride so far i'm just gonna crack both of these packs open so we'll have these ready i'm super happy the way these turned out um like i said i just need some more trox evos but they're mostly rares which is good for me um and we have another box coming, so Block Aquas, Block Growth. And I'll go a lot faster in those since I'm showing most of the cards off in this video. Block Outsiders, Block Pyrus, Shadow Hue, Smoke Armor, Garganoid's Gaze, Hot Potato again. Hyperphanesor. Okay, so we haven't gotten this one. This is the Aquas Hyperphanesor. Uh, if you watch Simo's video, this is the one he played in his deck. When you play this, you draw three cards. 401k power and then three damage. So not terrible at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That's a foil uh, Magnus. So I have three now. That's cool because um, these two guys are like my favorite characters in the show so far. So, nice. I have a place out of Magnus. I was actually hope, hoping for that. Because they're like an endgame card. I don't know how many I'm going to run yet. But I'm super happy about that. Okay, so final pack. Can we end with something though? We just got a foil Magnus. Uh, Blinding Glam. Bone Defense. Cycling Light. Think again. Counter Outsiders, Stone Skin. Okay, we have a Titan Howitzer Ultra, Hypernelius, Revitalize plus four damage uh, to you for each hero you have in play, and then a Foil Titan Fainzor. Not a bad finish to this. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please stay tuned for more Bakugan videos uh, when and where I am able to upload. And have a good day, YouTube. Take care. And uh, stay awesome.